Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are once again looking at Finale 27, The Smewful Shuffle. There was a lot of talk in the last couple of videos about the Smewful music fonts, but uh, not to be outdone, Finale 27 also ships with some new text fonts, which are also Smewful compliant, which I think is really interesting. So I'm going to show you these as well. Uh, I'm going to go into my text tool here. I'm just going to add something. And if I do some typing here, the default font that Finale uses is going to be uh, Times New Roman. You can see that it's checked all the way down here. But Finale shipped with some new text fonts, including one called Finale Maestro Text. And you can see that there's actually a regular italic bold and bold italic version of this font. And if we choose the regular version, um, it, what's interesting is that this Finale Maestro Text font is exactly the same as Times New Roman. As far as the letters and numbers are concerned, it looks exactly the same. In fact, if I just add a new um, uh, text block here, and I know that this is Times New Roman, we can compare these two fonts and actually overlap them, and you will see that they are precisely the same. So the Finale Maestro text font is essentially a clone of Times New Roman with the added addition, and I'm going to do my shortcut here. So again, on a Mac, it's Command Option Shift S. I believe on a Windows, it's Control Alt Shift S. Um, and when I do that, you'll get the symbol selection dialog box, and this is for the Finale Maestro Text font. And you can see that the symbol selection dialog box looks very similar to the Smewful symbol selection dialog box uh, for the music font. You get all the categories on the left, and you can see all kinds of musical categories uh, or musical symbols that exist in this font. And if you choose the all up here, you will actually see the letters and numbers too. So this is indicating that these um, are all typable. So that's why you can actually type with the Finale Maestro text and get letters and you can get numbers and you can get uh, all the some of the special characters that you would need uh, with the accents and all that stuff. Um, and a few of the other uh, symbols here. But then below that, you start to get the music characters. And this is all part of the Finale Maestro Text font. This is actually still part of the Smewful format. And indeed, all of these characters exist in the same slot uh, in the uh, Smewful text fonts as they do in the Smewful music fonts. So it's interesting that uh, with some of these characters you can uh, swap out for the music font and the mezzo piano, for example, will appear as a mezzo piano whether you're using the Finale Maestro text font or the Finale Maestro uh, music Smewful font. So that's really interesting. And again, the benefit of this is that now you have several of these music fonts, so you can use these to type in line with the text. And these particular characters in this font are designed to kind of line up well uh, in line with the text. So if we do we just select the mezzo piano here, you'll see that it kind of works perfectly in line with the word type right there. So, uh, you know, you can do all kinds of things like saying the mezzo piano at bar... Uh, uh, 124 should be a, and then again, command option shift S, and you can say mezzo forte and select that. And now you have this that works perfectly in line with the text. So there's a lot of nifty stuff going on here, and I'm just going to go back into that symbol selection dialog box to show you what else is there. There's not a ton. I mean, you know, if I go to the all and I scroll down below the standard characters, um, you know, it's only sort of, I guess, one page at this zoom level. But you have things like repeat symbols. There's a couple clefs here. Um, there's all kinds of uh, notes and, and things that I'm going to show you how to do in a second. There's a few accidentals, some uh, dynamics and everything, some other numbers, some more accidentals, uh, and some more notes, and some box text, which I'm going to show you. So um, all of this stuff is usable, and it's usable in a very specific way. Uh, and I'm going to show you particularly with the... Uh, um, with the rhythm characters, you can set these up uh, in, a, in a unique way as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is let's go here and just create a new one. And we're going to choose that Finale Maestro text font. There we go. And uh, so now I'm going to show you kind of how you can do some like tempo equation stuff, which is really cool. So again, shortcut. This is why the shortcut is so killer with this new version of Finale. It takes you right here. Now there's a few ways to do this. There's a thing called beamed 
beamed groups of notes. And the way that you would use this is you have, you know, your, your quarter notes or your left side of the beam and then the right side of the beams, depending on which rhythms and which height of the uh, beams uh, stems that you want. And then you have all of these symbols here, which is the middle part of the beam. So the way that you would put these together is you would choose, let's say the short, uh, the black note short stem uh, first, right? So we'll choose that one. And then you need the uh, short stem single uh, beam. So you choose that one and you can see that it puts it perfectly in place. And then you can choose uh, the this one here, which will give you the next note. And again, you would add the short beam. And then one more time, you would add the, the end of it. And now you can get a group of three eighth notes or if you wanted a fourth, you could do one more and get a uh, fourth eighth note. So now you can get four eighth notes in a row, right? And then of course, because you have the, this is a text font, so you can just type the equal sign, right? So I did space equals space, and then we could do something else, like we could do uh, 16th notes, right? So we could do the, the beginning of it, the short 16th bar, and then the 16th note, etc. And I'll just finish this out here for you. Actually, I don't even need to go into that category. You can just do it here. Again, you can see how, how uh, critical it is to know that shortcut now. All I'm doing is using my left hand to do this, and I can add these symbols pretty quickly. So now you get this type of thing uh, where you have the, uh, the, the four eighth notes equaling the four sixteenth notes. So some really cool stuff that you can do with this. You can also use individual notes. So it's very quick to do that triplet thing, although you don't need to, it's, it already exists in the expression for you, but if you needed to, you could do um, quarter note. And then the next thing you wanna add is actually in the alternates and extras, there are some like individual characters here for the tuplet bracket, start, triplet, the three, the end, and then there's a higher version of it. You can use these, but I find these a little bit trickier to use in the alternates and extra segment here, there's actually a whole middle piece here for the uh, the triplet. So uh, you could use that one. And there's also this whole um, uh, triplet bracket, which is really what you should use for this case. So you do that. And then you would add uh, the eighth note. Uh, you can use the, the, sh the tall one here, or you could use the short one. There's a short one down here as well. So you can get your uh, equivalent like that. And then you can do equals again. And then you can do uh, Again, you could do the, the uh, eighth note thing. So we'll do this one. Actually doing this the wrong way, aren't I? Should be the uh, eighth notes first and then the triplet bracket, but you get the idea. Um, so there you go. So you can do some, some neat things and you can even get kind of complicated. So let's say we're gonna do something crazy here. Let's do quarter note dotted. There's actually two dots, augmentation dot. Um, there is a tie symbol here somewhere. Uh, there it is. There's the tie. And let's do half note, which is this guy. You know what? We'll do another augmentation dot. Equals, oops, equals. And then we can do something like whole note augmentation dot. Now the Sometimes the, aug the augmentation dots, I'm not crazy about the spacing here, but you can add an extra space, which is almost too much, and then actually change the size. So let's cut this in half and make it six. Um, they probably might want to look at that and fix the spacing of that, but uh, that's okay. We can fix it like that. And then also you have the option, you know, you can see that the equal sign is a little bit high here. So we could do something with the baseline shift there as well, if you want. It kind of works over here, but maybe not over here. But of course, you know, just use the baseline shift and that will put it in another uh, place. And then in addition to the equal sign, you know, instead of using the equals, we can go into here and choose any character. There's a few other ones that might be interesting. You could choose not equals, sort of equals. <laughs> I think that's what that means. Um, and there's also a couple arrows, I think. So you could do this one here. Uh, so all kinds of options for these types of uh, rhythmic equations. And again, it's just right in line with text. So at the end of this, I could just keep writing text. And this is basically Times New Roman. Uh, so yeah, so really, really cool stuff. The other thing that's neat about this, let me just add another one. So let's go in here and find my 
Finale Maestro font text again. Is that there's some uh, box characters. And so let's find this in the alternates and extras. Um, there's a left box, the uh, middle, and a right box. And the way that you want to use these is choose the left box or the left side of the box first, right? And if you just have a single character that you want to box, you can then type the letter or the number and then go and choose the right side of the box and you'll get that in a box. Now, if you want a longer uh, symbol, if you need more than one, what you need to do is create the left side, type the number, and then uh, add the middle, and then type the number, and then add the middle again, and type the number, and then add the right side of the box, right? So basically it's, it's left side, number, middle, number, middle, number, right side of the box. That's the order that you have to do it in order to make this work. All right, so again, and then I can go in over here. Let's just do this. The MP at 124 should be MF, right? So really easy to kind of type stuff like this. Uh, again, just knowing that that uh, shortcut for the the insert uh, symbol is now is just so important because once you'd have that here, you can you know quickly press it and call up whatever uh, character that you want. So really nifty stuff. This is actually very similar if you're familiar with Dan Kreider's Muse Glyphs font. It's very similar in how it works. However, Dan's uh, Muse Glyph fonts is much more extensive than this. This is sort of a, a simplified version of that, but you can see all of the types of things that you can do with these fonts. Now, as I mentioned, these Smeeful fonts are swappable, right? And the, the music characters themselves will appear in the same slot. So we could do something silly, like let's go in here and choose uh, the actual finale Maestro music font. And the characters will remain, but if you remember from one of the previous videos, the text font is not uh, actually a font. It's, it's basically whatever the system font is, and you can see that the sizes are not exactly correct, and it's not totally in line. Um, that's because these music characters are built to be put on the staff, not in line with text like this. But with these text fonts, the music characters are built to be in line with the text. So that's really the difference. But you can see that they swap out uh, correctly. Now, there are some other uh, text smooful fonts, which I will point out. And I'm just going to go through this list real quick with you. So Finale Ash is a music font, music smooful font. Uh, Finale Ash text is another smooful font. Um, text. Now you can see that not all of these text uh, fonts have all of the characters. So this is the Finale Ash text font. And if I go into the, the Smeeful symbol selection, you can see that it doesn't really have any of those music characters. So not all of these text fonts are com totally uh, built out. You can see that it does have stuff with the boxes. So you can kind of use these things a little bit. But you know that's all that exists in the Finale Ash text font for now. Uh, let's see. Finale Broadway is the, the Smeeful uh, music font. Finale Broadway legacy text is the Finale Broadway text that existed previously, but it's non Smeeful. The, the Finale Broadway text is a Smeeful version of that. Again, it doesn't have all the characters. The next one down um, Finale Copyist text and Finale Copyist text extension. These are both non smoothful fonts that, that were used for uh, previous versions of Finale. And all of the characters in these two uh, fonts right here have been rolled up into the Finale Broadway music font, just FYI. Uh, Finale Engraver is a smoothful music font. Finale Jazz, Jazz is a music font. Finale Jazz Text is a smoothful uh, text font. Again, doesn't have all of the characters, but it does have some additional ones if you just go to the end. This one has a lot of different boxes that you can use. And these work the same way. You kind of have to choose the left box, then the center, then type the character, then the center, then type the character, and then choose the right box. They all kind of work uh, very similar in that regard. Uh, so that's the Finale Jazz text. And let's see what else there is. Uh, there's Finale Legacy. That's the old Petrucci music font. Finale Lyrics. This is the same as before. This is just a uh, lyric font. Um, and I believe. Is this also Smeeful? Let me just double check. No, see this is non smoothful You can tell because you don't get the category on the left. So this is just a normal uh, non smoothful text. 
font, and we'll go in here and see what else is there. Um, Finale Maestro is the music font, Finale Music Text font we've been playing around with. Finale Mallets, Numerics, and Percussion, these are the old non smuthful fonts that you would use. And Finale Percussion and Finale Mallets in particular have all been rolled up into the smuthful version of Finale Maestro. And the Numerics is still valid for um, figured bass if you're going to do those in the Lyric tool. Although the figured bass now exists in Finale Maestro as well. I haven't double checked to see if it works the same way, but uh, because there is a, a, a certain way that you type in Finale Numerics that will give you the uh, figured bass correctly, I haven't really checked that with the Finale Maestro text, but uh, at some point I probably will. Uh, but anyway, so that's that's what's available. Like I said, not all of the Smuful text fonts are complete, or at least complete as the Finale Maestro text is. And um, again, you can just kind of see what kind of uh, extra sil symbols you get at the end of the character set here, in addition to the normal symbols, which actually are a clone of Times New Roman. So interestingly, if you really wanted to, what you could do in your documents is um, change the uh, default font for text, for text blocks right here, or for whatever. You could change this from Times New Roman to the Finale uh, Maestro text font, and it will be pretty much exactly the same, except that you would have the addition of those music characters that you could type in. So um, that's also an option as well, to, is actually to change the default settings of some of these uh, characters here so that you can use those. So uh, just another option at your disposal. And then the final thing I'm going to say about this, as I said, you know, some of those other Smeeful text fonts are not as complete. But, uh, you know, as far as Smeeful is concerned, Smeeful is basically open source right now. So um, I believe that some intrepid font designers without too much effort can actually create new Smeeful uh, text fonts. So, you know, if you wanted um, a font with Helvetica and some finale engraver characters, I think you could probably do that. Um, if you wanted to combine, say, Comic Sans with some finale jazz music characters, you are absolutely welcome to do that, much to my chagrin, but um, I think it's possible. Again, these Smooful fonts are pretty much open source, so I think anybody can design something that, that will basically combine a certain you know, text fonts, like any of these uh, text fonts that you have on your computer, um, with some of the music characters from any of the finale uh, music um, uh, fonts. I believe that's possible. I, th I think you can copy those music fonts. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's totally doable. So yeah, so there you go. Once again, thanks for watching. My name is Jason. This has been Finale 27, The Smuful Shuffle. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be alerted as to when these new videos come out. All right, really appreciate it. And once again, I will see you soon on the next video.